Hey you, watch the video right now. Did you see my video from a couple days ago? Maybe yesterday, I'm not sure. Um, It said something about Larry Johnson being a beast. Did you see it? Cause if you didn't, go watch it right now. No! I literally added this man, Diamond Larry Johnson to my team and he is amazing. I dropped nearly 40 with him. Spoiler alert, he's a boss. And today I'm adding another new face, another new stud that I can never stop when opponents have him. He's really good or I'm really trash. Steve. Francis. Yes, indeed, I did finish Domination, and I know you're probably thinking, Jay, you should have got this player, you should have got this player. Steve Francis is really the only player worth getting out of normal Domination. A 6'3 point guard is actually really good, and his stats layup-wise, from the outside, shooting, playing defense, speed, dunking, it's all just so very good. And he comes into the lineup, moves Jamal Crawford over to go with Lou Hudson, Larry, still James Edwards, I guess he's the weak link in my starting lineup, but he's a beast too. And off the bench, look at this shooting Steph Curry, Jason Richardson. I'm trying him out. He can dunk, shoot threes, Paige Stoyakovic, and I got my mans, LeBron and Josh Smith, who's an animal. But with that being said, I have yet to start historic domination. It'll probably take me a week or two to play through, depending on you know how much I grind on it. But what diamond player should I grab after historic domination? I'm honestly leaning towards Ben Wallace now that I sold Shaq, because he's pretty good, at least defensively rebounding and dunking. But I don't know, are any of the other ones really really good let me know down in the comment section we're on a three game win streak now look at that w w w because i played a game that i didn't post anyways we're eight and one anyways what do we need like one more one more win today all right so here we go steve francis i'm not gonna go as ham as i went with larry johnson you know we're just gonna get steve his offense in the flow of the game starting off with a wide open three that wasn't really wide open but it still goes in okay that three was ridiculous because that's not even this steve francis's strong suit his strong suit is right there going to the rim finishing through traffic probably getting an and one the major key to success with steve francis is his defensive stats are dope like he should be able to lock steph up oh yeah no way no sir no no okay okay he is just fiending for a three no that is a terrible shot look at steve ahead of the break foul me foul me steph foul me and one I called that like five minutes ago, baby. Steve Francis can't be stopped. Steph Curry pick and roll. Open. That's open. That is open, baby. Oh, it was only a two. <laughs> oh, LeBron on an island. Good luck, Blake Griffin. You just got blown by. And your teammate just got his life ruined. Is that my man, Jay Williams? I don't know. You just got dunked on. That sounds about right. My dudes, this is good. I've had some seriously intense matchups recently. And you know, I don't like sweating over games. And I don't like taking L's. So crossover by Josh Smith to the rim. Oh my goodness gracious! Dwight Howard? Was that you? Are you alright, Dwight? Hey, I doubt it! Give me this screen and I'll shoot a three with Steph Curry right there! Oh, Steph. <laughs> Steph is really trash on this game for me. Steve Francis transition, throw up the lob, Larry Johnson. Oh, he didn't lob it. Okay, um, I guess the assist and dunk works too. I'm not sure why that wasn't a lob. Let's go Steve in transition. This time it's a lob. This time it's a lob! <laughs> Larry Johnson. I'm so glad you can finish lobs this year. It's amazing. Let's go, Steve. Catch a body. Catch a body underneath, Steve. Catch a... <laughs> Alright, Steve. Isolation time. Does he have nice dribble moves? Let's see. Oh, that's pretty basic. Oh, look at the cross. To the rim. To the rim. Oh, to... Oh, um... Maybe try a layup instead of a dunk, Steve? Just a thought. Alright, so flash forward. We're in the fourth quarter now. Up 12. I feel like he should have rage quit by now, but like... Then he just sticks in it, and it's like, you know what, dude? You're kind of annoying. Like, I'm gonna beat you, so just quit. But, uh, he hasn't, so Larry Johnson just gonna have to hit some free throws. Oh, why are you reaching on Steve Francis in the backcourt? I'm just gonna pull up easy jumper. No need... Steve! If Steve can't make that jumper, we're gonna have some problems. Alright, Steve, three minutes left. Show us why you're the boss. You've been pretty good today, but let's get to step back. Oh, Lou Hudson's wide open. I can't ignore Lou when he's wide open. Even though it told me I got a very late release, the game lies. Oh, look at Lou, wide open again. Lou, how could you forget about Lou? Oh, perfect psych. Oh, fade away. What the, oh, what the heck, Lou? Making life difficult, but hitting a shot. Transition, Lou Hudson, another one, another one, another one, another, uh, 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 another one for Lou Hudson. He's stealing the show. He's like, Jake, how are you gonna forget about your OG diamond? I didn't forget, Lou. Let's see, can we get Lou Hudson open for yet another wide open jump shot? Uh, maybe not, but Steve Francis is open. Green release. Now we are hitting shots. You can quit now, sir. Steve Francis head of the break. Throw down, big fella. I mean, little fella. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I called him big fella, but he's tired. Still slamming. That's an exclamation point on this game. 
that game was the definition of light work. 20 point victory, we scored 80 points and look at my shooting percentages across the board, three point percentage, good. Field goals, free throws, it was all good. We out rebounded him, we didn't turn the ball over very much. Steve Francis was really good, 20 points on seven of 13 shooting. That's very impressive. He's my point guard of the future. And I mean, the rest of the squad showed out. Lou Hudson, Larry Johnson, my two diamonds. That's what I like to see, boys. But let me know if you guys enjoyed the video down in the comment section. Who should I pick up from Historic Domination? Who have you guys used? Who's a beast? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at jcanada10. I'm out till next time, guys. Peace.